Got another real estate negotiating tip, and that's that very early when I was a real estate agent, I learned very quickly um, the concept of fear of loss. So I often represented sellers, and the sellers would get in an earnest money check. So an agreement of sale, you know, that's the document that you give to a seller, basically, uh, you know, agreeing to buy their property uh, with set terms. You know, that is a contract. Agreement of sale is a contract, and the you know, as a contract, it, it requires consideration. So what has to come into contract would be earnest money. And that's typically some small portion of the purchase of the property. Uh, you know, I would often have sellers that would actually get in this earnest money check and, uh, you know, and would, you know, get upset over losing the deal for fear that they were actually going to be, you know, losing this small check. So, you know, with this offer would come a $5,000 earnest money check. And in the seller's mind, that here's a $5,000 check, it doesn't even go to the seller. And it basically goes and typically gets held by a title company and goes into escrow to make sure the deal goes through. So they're not even physically getting this check, but they're seeing this check and they're seeing $5,000. And then their, their mind goes to, well, if I turn down this offer, I'm now losing this $5,000 check that I currently have. I'm losing $5,000. And then you would try to, you know, as an agent, you try to get them to to focus properly and say, no, this isn't really your money. It's actually getting held by a title company and you can't sell your property at a deep, deep discount because you're afraid of losing this $5,000. And you can sell at a discount if you're afraid you're going to lose a deal and you're not going to get a backup deal. But you can't just take a bad offer because uh, because you're afraid of losing this $5,000 and you somehow you're mentally thinking that money is currently yours. And it's not. You know, so when I put an offer in on a property, I use the earnest money to my advantage. So I actually, you know, will give the seller a pretty sizable earnest money amount of uh, down. You know, it's, it puts a risk because the money doesn't actually go to the seller, but it actually is held by the title company. Uh, and the seller has to release it if the deal falls through. And sometimes sellers can be difficult and they won't release it. And then it, depending on, on your state, they can hold it for up to a year's time. So you're putting this money at a slight risk, in my opinion. Uh, so you should consider that. But I personally like to put down a hefty, earnest money so that when they turn down my offer, they're seeing that they're turning down, like, say, $20,000. And they think, all right, well, I have $20,000 and this $20,000 is mine. And now I'm turning it down and I'm going to lose this $20,000. So fear of loss is something I always try to employ anytime I'm trying to purchase real estate. All right. This is Joe White doing my best to answer your real estate investing questions and happy negotiating.